All right. Well, we're back again for another free agent Friday. And today I've got Sam Fritz with me. Sam, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, give us uh, your, your college background and what you've done through school. Yeah. Um, so I'm a Shippensburg University graduate degree in communications journalism, emphasis in electronic media. Uh, at school, I spent uh, way too much of my time in the radio station. Uh, seriously, I mean, I, I uh, got involved uh, halfway through my freshman year. And then from then, I basically treated it like it was my own full time job throughout college. Uh, I broadcasted two different music shows, um, did a bunch of sports broadcasting for the university, as well as I actually led the boxing broadcast for my school. Um, I put together okay. and every year we had a year or every yeah, year we put on a yearly boxing show and uh, I would be in communications with the coach and I put together an event and we'd broadcast that out through the radio station. So what is your ideal position that you're looking to obtain? Uh, I think I've got, I've got two different paths. Both of them I think are equally ideal. Anything at all within uh, the Indiana Pacers organization <laughs> Um, I was born in Indiana, even though I live in Philadelphia currently. Okay. Um, and I got more heart for that basketball team than a lot of people care to hear about. Uh, aside from that, I think anything, uh, you know, I think my dream as a commentator, as a sports broadcaster would be to be involved with boxing, mixed martial arts to some extent. That would be like the absolute dream for me personally. Okay. Now for your next... Um opportunity are you open to relocate are you looking to stay in the philly area i genuinely uh i could be in Juneau, alaska tomorrow you know <laughs> I, I i have no problem uh in in my applying for jobs i've applied for things across the country i've applied for things right next door i really have no issue you know up and relocating tomorrow if need be so what um let's talk a little bit about some of the experiences that you had um you know, as far as at the radio stations and then some play-by-play. -play. Kind of walk me through your um, career with that. Yeah. Um, so I first got involved with sports broadcasting through the sports director at uh, 88.7 WSYC. Um, he was looking to put a team together. He said he needed some extra voices for basketball. I'm a huge basketball fan. So instantly I went in there and I started doing color commentary. Um, he, the sports director, did play-by-play. -play, and I came in and just assisted with the rest of the broadcast. Um, but of course, shortly after that, I think I got the itch to be the lead voice, the play by play commentator and knowing that our school had that boxing show and my love of the sport, that's exactly where I took that initiative into, well, I'm going to go to the coach. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to get everything set up and then I'm going to lead a boxing broadcast. Um, and through that, I think I was able to leverage both my play by play and color commentary experience that I built over three years into the job I have now with Penn sports radio covering a multitude of high school sports in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania. Very nice. What, you know, are the biggest skills um, that you bring to the table for the next position? I think um, the, the biggest skills that I have is the ability to adapt immediately. Um, I, I sent over in the resume that I, I sent to you, but I currently also work for a professional wrestling organization uh, based out of Philadelphia. Um, called Chikara. And on a day-to-day -day basis, any hat that I wear with that organization could immediately be replaced by something else. You know, I, I show up uh, expected to be a cameraman. That's my, my usual duty with the organization. But any given day, depending on where they're short-staffed, where they need extra people, I could immediately be the audio guy. I could immediately be a producer on the show, um, a live event producer, not an executive producer. <laughs> um, but, you know, the ability to adapt in, in a moment's notice, I have that, you know, kind of built within me with, through my work experience. What is it about, you know, sports or, you know, communications, play-by-play? -play? Like, what is it about that that, um, you know, once makes you want to get involved with that? Um, get involved with, you well, mean, further in, in sports? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. Continue. Um, I think it's kind of just that, that blend of growing up being a sports fan and then what I went to school for. Um, I think, you know, I grew up as a huge basketball fan, huge baseball fan, boxing fan. And then as I went to school for communications journalism, that, that love of the sport 
grew past just enjoying watching it. I wanted to be the person who helps present it, helps bring it, you know, to the world. Um, and I think just the, the combination of my pre-existing love of sports built on top of the education I received gave me that drive to kind of be like, yeah, that's, that's what I know my next career step is to help present, help be a part of a sports presentation. So what, um, are you doing any podcasts now or doing anything else? I saw you do some podcast production and yeah. some other creative stuff on your resume. Yes, I'm, I'm still uh, involved in the production side of things. I don't host or anything like that currently. But um, I do a little bit of freelance audio work. Occasionally, podcast people will send me their stuff to clean up and send back to them, uh, as well as I'm working on a project that, unfortunately, because it's kind of in its middle phases and it could be contracted out to somebody else right now, would have to remain on the down low. But I, I am still very much uh, involved in that world, yes. What separates you from, you know, other candidates out there that are going to be looking to get in the field? Um, I think the, the biggest thing that I bring is knowing the difference. Well, I guess the biggest separation I have is I know the mentality of mouth, ears open, mouth shut. I know when it's time to be a leader and when it's time to be a part of the team, you know? Um, and I think, at such a young stage in my career and just for a lot of candidates out there, that's something that takes a while to get used to. But um, I think to any organization that I could be a part of, I know exactly when they will need me to step up and start leading others and taking care of myself, as well as when it's time for me to listen to what they want me to carry out, listen to their goals and how I need to help best suit them. How would you define success? Um, that's a, you know, it's a rough one. I think for me, success is just knowing that I enjoy what I do. I think if I can wake up every single day and not regret that I have to go to work, I feel successful. You know, that's, a, that's an awesome feeling too. Yeah. I feel like I haven't, you know, had to go to work, you know, you, you, when you enjoy and love what you do, it's uh, you're never counting hours. Right. And I think, you know, it, it, work will always at some point feel like work. You can never escape that. But if, if you're never looking back with regret on what you were a part of, you are in some way, shape, or form successful. And that's, that's really all I strive is to just be proud of the work that I put out there. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's, uh, it's important. How about, you know, outside of, you know, your professional, you know, background in school, like what's, uh, give us a fun personal fact, you know, about uh, you or facts. <laughs> um, the the fun you're fact. you Pacers fan, so you can't use that one. <laughs> Well, that's the best, that's the biggest fact about me. If you ask my friends, um, <laughs> no, a fun fact that I have that, uh, is usually my, my go-to in the social scenarios is I do not have a sense of smell at all what? whatsoever. Yep. I cannot smell like, has this been lifelong or is this, uh, no, it developed, uh, it, it long story short, a traumatic event caused my sense of smell to leave me. Um, but for about, geez, four or five years now, for five years now, I have not had a sense of smell. And wow. uh, it's, it's been tested thoroughly. Um, I had roommates that their favorite activity was to go to the mall and put candles under my nose and say, what does this smell like? And I could never give them the right answer. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, I don't know. That, that wouldn't be fun. I mean, maybe it would help me not eat so much because I love the smell <laughs> of food. I'll <laughs> say for a majority of people, more people like to complain about what they can smell, what they, what they're smelling than compliment it, you know? Um, so for the most part, it seems like if there's any sense to have lost that uh, this one's the one that was okay to go. Yeah, I, I guess that's the, uh, the thing. How about, you know, the one thing we didn't really touch on is, um, the biggest weakness. Um, it, luckily this is an answer that I already have ready to go all the time because it's, it's a weakness, not just in my professional life, but in my personal life is that I do suffer from chronic migraines. Um, and I know that, you know, most people try to go for a, you know, a, a mental or social aspect that is their weakness. But for me, really, it's that physical pain of a migraine that contributes to all those other weaknesses. You know, um, I do know the cause of them. It's through dehydration. So luckily, I'm able to usually curb that, especially when I know something important's coming up. I'm the most hydrated guy on the day of an event. I will guarantee you that, you know, I have water with me all the time. Um, but, you know, if you've ever had a migraine before or even just a really bad headache, I mean, those things can be debilitating, you know. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they, they can sideline you. I've had one so bad I had to get driven home from work before. Um, 
just due to the light sensitivity of the sun. Um, and so it really is migraines are my biggest weakness. Uh, if I were to get one of those, it really does, uh, hamper my ability to be an effective part of the team. But luckily I, I do know the cause of them. And when I know I have work a big day coming up, I, I get out ahead of it. And I also do have, if need be medication to help me get rid of the migraine. Yeah, that's good to know. I mean, and you know, especially, you know, in play by play and everything too. I mean, that, that would, that would make it a little rough. So it would be, yeah. You know, at least, at least you know how to uh, combat that, which is, which is great. Do you have a website or anything that has um, some sample clips or anything like that, that we can share with people? I do. Yes. I'll, I'll email. I must have forgotten to include it on the initial okay. email. I will email, yep. email it to you right away. Yep. Yeah, it might be on there and I'll include it on the, uh, in the description here. So people will be able to see uh, any Perfect. other last words that you'd like to add anything about yourself. Um, you know, I think I included a, a good majority of how, you know, I'm, I'm just eager to get into the industry uh, or eager to involve or, you know, evolve my position within the industry, get into that next step and make it more than just, you know, a series of part-time jobs that I currently have right now. I'd like to make it, you know, a full-time effort, something that I can really go into uh, and dedicate a majority of my life to, you know. Uh, but other than that, I, you know, I want to say thank you to you for letting me do this interview. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, you know, I learned through it through, I learned about it through Matt Trust. I think what you're doing is awesome. And I really appreciate just having the opportunity to kind of put myself out there in this medium. No, great. Well, I'm, I'm glad we were able to connect and uh, I'm hoping that I can help you and good luck in the future. Yeah, thank you very much.